Hey friends, it's Barry, and I've narrated a number of books using the Amazon ACX platform. And I think that that's an interesting and fun thing to do. And if you're considering doing audiobook narration, I'd like you to be aware of an issue that I've encountered on a couple of occasions. And that issue is rights fraud. Now, in no way am I accusing Amazon or ACX of doing anything fraudulent, but there are certain individuals who fraudulently use those platforms. And so here's what I've encountered on a couple of occasions, and I think it's something that if you're a narrator, you should look out for. An individual will find a book on Amazon, which is a book that doesn't have an audiobook but is a fairly good selling book. And they will then claim to be the rights holder for that material, which of course they are not, but that's what they will claim. And they will put that book up on ACX seeking a narrator. So narrators will do auditions for that book and then be offered a contract to record the book. And as a narrator, it's attractive because you see that there's a book available which has very high sales rankings and it's offered as a royalty share, where each time that book sells, you get a small cut of the sale. And of course, since it's a good selling book, you'd look at that and think, hmm, this is something that could be profitable. So here's the things that make me concerned when I see an offer on a book like this. First, usually it's a book that has been out for a while, and it's a good selling book. It's got a track record of high sales volume. And so it would be a little bit unusual for a book like that to be offered as royalty share. Usually, if an author has a book that is a high selling item, they'd like to keep a larger share of the royalties. So if they seek a narrator, they'll offer it as a pay per finished hour rather than a royalty share of sales. So that means that they have to pay up front for the narration, but usually that's a better deal for an author with a good selling book than it is to give up a portion of their royalties. So when I see a book that's got really high sales, it's got a track record, and they're offering it as a royalty share, that's just a little bit suspicious. Then I look to see who is the publisher of the book according to ACX versus who is the publisher of the book according to the Amazon paperback version. And I would expect that those to be the same. If they're not the same, that's a red flag to me. Then I'll ask to see the manuscript, or they'll provide the manuscript. And oftentimes the manuscript that is provided might look like it was pulled off of the internet somewhere. If the manuscript actually came from the author or directly from the publisher, I would expect it to be in a Word document, maybe a PDF, but a pretty clean document. If the manuscript appears to be something that was found on a file sharing site on the internet, that's a big red flag. I look at the names involved in who's offering me the contract. Now, ideally, the person who's offering me the contract is the same person as the author. Um, but sometimes they have representation, so that's not always the case. But if I see these kind of red flags, I will contact the publisher or I'll try to contact the author and just verify that they really want to have an audiobook produced and that who is ever representing that audiobook is actually an authorized agent or somebody who is a rights holder. Because I would hate to be involved in some kind of fraudulent activity. Um, as the narrator, I think you'd probably have limited liability because how do you know? However, it's most likely that Amazon would then pull the book from sales on the audiobook side and you wouldn't get anything. So it would be a shame to put in a lot of work recording a book and then not get anything out of it. Um, and of course, I certainly not want to be the recipient of some kind of legal action involved in this sort of situation. So as a narrator, when you get offers to do books, be sure to do a, a good thorough gut check to make sure that who's ever offering that book really is the rights holder to that material so that, you know, you're involved in a legitimate deal and you're not part of anything that's possibly fraudulent. I don't know if ACX could really do a whole lot about this situation, 
I think that perhaps maybe they should uh, only allow people who actually posted the book on Amazon to post the book on ACX. Uh, you would have to use the same Amazon account, but evidently they don't do that, and that might cause some issues anyway. So I'm not blaming ACX for this situation. Um, there are some people out there who are just not entirely honest, but fortunately most people are honest. And uh, I've done several projects in ACX, and all of them have gone very well. But I've only encountered this situation a couple of times. But if you're a narrator, I think it's something that you should be aware of and should be watchful for. And make sure that you're really only producing material that is being offered up by legitimate rights holders. So just a tip for you, something that I've encountered a couple of times in my journey with ACX... Aside from that, it's been a pretty good time, and um, I hope that if you choose to go into audiobook narration, it's as successful and, and fun for you as it is for me. So thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed the information. I hope it's useful to you, and I, I wish you the best. Take care.